Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. In this After Effects video, we're going to create a vintage label. And it's really cool. We're going to do all the design here in After Effects. And that's the main focus of this tutorial is the design of this using shape layers. So you can create any vintage label that you want. There's many ways you're going to animate, you know, anything in After Effects. So the main focus is on the design. And then I'll show you how to quickly animate this. I mean, just look at that nice animation there. Hmm. It's beautiful. Anyway, if you're in a time crunch or you're looking for inspiration for creating vintage titles or any other titles inside of After Effects, all the previews you're seeing right now are from Video High. That means they're pre-made and ready to go. All you have to do is drag and drop out your new titles and you can render it out and be done in five minutes. Go ahead and check these links in the video description if any of these titles interest you. And there's over 14,000 After Effects title templates on Video Hive, so you should be able to find what you're looking for or find some awesome inspiration for your own project. But let's go ahead and jump in the video and let's get started. All right, here we are inside of our main composition. And the first thing we want to do is build out the body of our label, our vintage label. Let's do it. So what we want to do is grab the ellipse tool and we're going to do like a abstract vintage label. It's going to be really cool. Let's go ahead and create an ellipse here. Hold down shift on your keyboard to draw out a perfect circle. And when you're done, you can go to the line tab and we can center this up. And if you don't see the line tab, I say this all the time, go to window align. All right, so now that we have our circle in here, what I want to do is I want to come here to the shape layer, come here to add, and I want to add a zigzag. All right, let's go ahead and open up the zigzag. And from here, you see ridges per segment, and you can see these ridges here. Well, we can go ahead and bring these down to maybe about four to five. We'll do four, and that looks good. And we can also set the points from corner to smooth. And we can increase the size by a touch. And you can see that we have kind of a, uh, a uh, really awkward star there but this is going to be the outline of our label and what we want to do is cut out the inside of this label so it's very easy to do all we have to do is come here to the ellipse one and we will duplicate it right and let's go ahead and bring the zigzag into ellipse one and let's come here to ellipse two let's bring it underneath ellipse one and we'll come here to the ellipse path and we can bring down the size you can see that we just have the circle in here now so we have the uh we have the first layer which is just the zigzags and then we have the second layer, which is just an ellipse by itself. And when this is all said and done, what we can do is come here to add. And now we can add a merge paths and make sure the merge paths is underneath ellipse one and two. Come here to merge paths and go to mode and set it to subtract. And this will cut out the inside of it. So simply this is how you look at it. So you have the your main layer, which is the ellipse one with the zigzag minus the circle, which will cut out the inside of the first circle with the merge path. So it's pretty simple and now we have the cutout here if we need to make the cutout a little bit bigger we can increase the size and you know there's that so now I want to create like a hollowed circle like a, a stroke and instead of doing the merge paths like we did before let's just grab the ellipse tool here and we'll draw out a perfect circle and make sure this is centered within our composition with the align tab and if we need to make this a little bit bigger you know no big deal we'll go ahead and just increase the scale on it and then click on the word fill at the top set it to none click OK Click on the word stroke, set it to solid color. And we'll come here to stroke color, set to white, and we can increase the stroke. So, boom. So, so you could have done the merge paths just like we did before, but this is a little bit quicker when you just have to keep it a, you know, a symmetrical shape. All right, so next I wanna do my logo. So I like to keep it all in the same theme of the circle. So we'll come here and we'll draw like a perfect circle again. This time we'll just set on the fill and we'll turn off the stroke. And make sure this is all centered up and of course we might want to just scale this up a little bit more that should be fine and then I want to bring in the logo so here's my ducky logo and we'll come here we'll scale this down and make sure your logo is above the shape layer the circle you created and come here and set it to alpha inverted matte and now you have the hollow out of your logo or whatever you're doing there and that looks cool right so now we're working on this vintage label here. So let's go ahead and add some titles in here. So what I like to do is we have the space for some title work. So what you'll want to do is come here and type out some text. So we could be like vintage label. So here we have our text and you want to be able to keep it nice and small enough to fit within that circle. Now you're probably thinking, okay, how do we make this a circle? Well, very easy. What we're going to do is we're going to grab the ellipse tool and come here from the center hold down shift and what we'll do is make sure we'll use the arrow keys here to make sure this is a perfectly you know centered mask and then we'll come here to the text open the text layer go to path options and where it says path it says none set to mask one and essentially this is what we have and we can reverse the path so it'd be on the outside which is probably what we want 
and we can always adjust the first up margin and last margin where you want to start off and you know first things first i'm definitely going to want to change this t tight face it's not going to work for this so i'll do something a little bit cooler like beep as new and perhaps what i'll actually do is i'll put slumduck film on its own text layer since i want that to be upside down and we'll come here make sure vintage labels on the top and i'll put slumduck film down here and all we have to do is just come here we'll duplicate vintage label and we'll replace the text with slumduck film and then we'll come into our Sunduck film layer, go into the back into the path options, and we can go to the first margin and put this underneath everything, and then go to reverse path. And you can see it's, it looks not good, but what we can do is go back into the mask, go select the mask one, hit control T on your keyboard, and this will bring up uh, the mask path. That's command T on a PC. Hold down shift and control on a PC, and boom. Now this is in the right place, and we go back into the first margin and adjust it as we see fit so now you should be able to you know read what's going on here and that looks good so we are pretty much ready to go if you want to add some more elements in here no problem we can do that so maybe what I can do is go to the star tool and I'll just draw out a very small star and then we'll also done duplicate it and we'll move it over to the other side so now we have you know kind of a cool vintage label here and you can add any logo in there and to finish off this effect to kind of give it a grunge feel, what I like to do is grab all of our layers, select them all, go up to Layer Precompose, and we can call it Label. Click OK. And it's in its own composition. Okay, so I have a couple of textures in here. You can just Google a grunge texture, and you can just download you know, whatever you're looking to do. So, you know, very easy to find. Uh, but I like this texture, and what I want to do is I'm going to bring this on top of our label here. And go to our label layer and go to track mat and set it to luma inverted mat and now we have texture in our vintage label and that looks pretty sick and it looks nice now we might want to animate this label and there's many ways to animate everything so we can go back into our label here and we can start doing that there's really no wrong answer how you want to animate it but be sure you turn on motion blur maybe what we can do is just do basic transform animations just because we can save time this way so we can you know add a keyframe for scale add a keyframe for rotation we can move the scale keyframe forward in time. We can offset the rotation of this. And we can set the scale down to 0%. And now we have this in here. And we can move forward and continue to ro rotate this. And now we have this animation in here. And that looks totally cool. Make the last scale keyframe an easy ease keyframe by hitting F9 on your keyboard. And you, of course, you can go here and animate you know, all this through here. But I do want to demo this plugin that I have that will save you a lot of time. And it's called Animation Composer. And what this allows me to do is drag and drop animation presets within a couple seconds. So if I want to animate this next element here, this circle, I'm coming here to the trans Transition Presets folder, go to 2D Layer Transformations. And what's cool about this is there's over a thousand animation presets in here, and you can preview the animation before you apply it. And when it's done, you click on Apply as in. And now I can animate the next layer within a couple of seconds. You see how the extra balance is in there. And I can quickly move through this and animate everything quickly. All right, and with literally just took me under a minute to animate this. I'm able to fully animate this with Animation Composer, and of course you can do this with basic keyframes inside of After Effects. Um, however, having a plugin like Animation Composer can save you a ton of time. I'll go ahead and link Animation Composer. There's links in the video description if you want to learn more about it. I also create a full review video on it. And these presets are for regular 2D transformation animations, like these layers, and you also get a thousand text. Uh, animation presets for just titles so that's why I was able to animate this really quick and it looks really awesome and you can apply this to any other project inside of After Effects and the main focus of the tutorial was to focus on the design of creating vintage labels so you should have the techniques available to you to create your own vintage labels whatever you're looking to do now so I hope you guys enjoyed this After Effects video if you guys did enjoy this video be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel Sunduck Film we post two to three After Effects videos every single week depending on how lazy I am uh, hit me up on my social media networks, those links are in the video description, and always be creating.